this is an experiment to control LED using Arduino Cloud. Uh, in this experiment, I am connecting LED to the D1 pin of node MCU. Uh, and uh, the cathode of the LED is connected to uh, register. And from register, it is connected to ground. So you can connect LED directly uh, to the node MCU uh, without register also. Uh, anode to D1 pin and cathode to ground. Uh, since uh, the node MC works at 3.3 uh, volts, uh, so we can connect this without register also. And uh, uh, in the code, this is the code. Uh, while explaining the experiment in a video, uh, I have taken the uh, variable name as LED. Uh, but after that, I changed the variable in the, while doing the experiment. And I gave the variable name name as uh, Shanta. Uh, please make the uh, note it down. Uh, the this is nothing but a variable name. You can change uh, while editing. You can change the uh, variable name. Okay. And here I have used uh, connected. Uh, I have used the variable name as relay for a D1 pin. Uh, why? Because uh, I, from D1, you can connect relay module and from relay module, you can connect AC bulb. The same experiment, you can work with uh, uh, AC bulb also. Uh, so for that purpose, I have taken the variable name as uh, relay. So you can here uh, uh, declare it as LED. Int LED is equal to D1. If you are using uh, only LED, if, you're, if you want to uh, uh, use the same experiment for a bulb uh, to control the bulb, so uh, you have to use the relay model. For that, I'm using the variable name as relay. So this program works for both the experiment, controlling of LED as well as controlling of AC bulb. And the detailed explanation of this program, uh, I have done one more video and uh, uh, you can go through that video. Uh, go to Arduino, uh, Google Chrome and type Arduino Cloud. Uh, so after that, the, you will get the dashboard. After typing Arduino Cloud, click on Get Started. So if you have already uh, registered for Arduino Cloud, directly the dashboard will get open. Otherwise, you need to sign up and do registration. After registration, click on IoT Cloud. Then click on Create Thing. Then click on Select. First, you give the title Control LED. Then click on Select device, then click on set up new device, click on third party device, then click on select device type as ESP8266 and device model as node MCU 1.0 ESP 12E model, then click on continue, give the device name, I am giving the device name as node, node MCU, click on next, copy this device ID and secret key and paste it in control C, paste it somewhere, either in notepad or somewhere you paste it. Or if you don't want to save it, you can download the PDF where you will have your device ID and a secret key. After that, Click here and continue. After saving, continue. Then click on done. So after this, you need to configure your network. Configure the network. Click on. So here you give the Wi-Fi name. Give the Wi-Fi name. and give the password 
and paste your secret key here where you have already uh, saved that you copy the secret key and paste it in a place where the secret key is given so here i'm pasting then click on save So now the network is configured and the device is configured. Then you should go to add variable and give the variable name here. I am giving the variable name as LED and select the variable type as Alexa compatible. The variable is Alexa compatible. Click on Alexa compatible. Then click on the type as light. Okay. Then click on add variable. So this is third step. After that, go to dashboard. Then Click on create dashboard. Create dashboard. So here you need to give the title once again. I'll give the title as control LED. Then click on add variable, add uh, widget. Then click on switch, add switch. And give the name, any name, I keep as it is switch. By default, it has come switch. And click on link variable. So after that, click on device. Click on link variable. So after clicking on the link variable, you should click on done. Then go to things. Click on the device. Then click on sketch. Click on open full editor. So by default, the Arduino cloud will generate some code for us. So we need to modify the code according to our requirement. My requirement is to turn on LED and to turn off LED. So for that, first you should, after hash include things speak properties.h, press enter. And here you declare your variable. I'll declare my variable as int, variable name as just I'm giving as relay is equal to, I'll write D1 semicolon okay so after this you go to white setup after white setup press enter here you need to define your pin mode so pin mode open bracket so relay i want to make it, it as output so you write output Close the bracket. Okay. Semicolon. So this second modification I am doing. And now after wide loop. So you check where is wide loop. This is wide loop. After wide loop, you have a, a um, function on LED change. So you press enter here. And you check the condition if the variable name you have given as LED, LED is equal to is equal to 1, then press enter, open flower bracket, press enter, digital write, 
digital right open flower bracket relay 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 comma one okay after that semicolon press center close flower bracket press center else else enter open flower bracket enter digital right digital right open flower bracket relay comma zero semicolon okay press enter close bracket So after doing uh, all these modifications, you select your node MCU uh, board and a COM port, then upload your program. So if any errors are there, it will display the errors. You modify it. Otherwise, the uh, uh, program will be uploaded, uploaded to your node MCU. It takes some time to upload your program. Uh, after downloading program, so you click on dashboard. So here the variable name I have given as Shanta. Click on this. So you will get a switch widget on the dashboard. See here. Now now LED is on. I'll turn off the widget. LED is turned off. So again, I'll turn on the visit. LED is turned on. So the if the network is very, uh, very uh, a high speed network, immediately it will turn on and turn off. Again, I'll turn off. LED is turned off. Turned on. Turn on. Okay, LED is turned on. In this way, using uh, Arduino Cloud IoT platform, you can control the LED. Now I'll show you how to make the connection. Uh, in program, I have used a D1 uh, pin uh, for connecting with the uh, uh, LED. So the D1 of node MCU is connected to the anode of LED and the ground of node MCU is connected to cathode of LED. The very simple connection. Anode and cathode you should connect it to the node MCU. The uh, uh, distal pin, which pin you will use it in your program, that pin, uh, for that pin you have to connect the anode and for ground terminal, connect the ground of node MCU. Uh, that is, uh, for cathode you connect the ground terminal of the node MCU.